Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to create a linked list in C++. And uh, I recorded this video previously and it took 15 minutes, <coughs> which is way too long. So I'm going to try and uh, go combat speed here and go a little bit quicker for us. Over here on the right I've got our file that we're going to read in to create our linked list. And then here uh, you want to know about how to create uh, classes and structs and how to separate them into .h and .cpp files. And then uh, here you'll notice that I have manually included the student registry.cpp. Uh, that's because I was playing around with Sublime and I broke it. So um, it's not linking by itself, which it should uh, right now. So I've just included it manually. And I just want to explain that because I told you you shouldn't normally have to do this. So um, with that, let's go ahead and move into the code. Uh, so the first part here, this is all reading in a file. Uh, so you'll want to watch that video if you don't know what that is. And then here I've declared this class, an instance of this class student registry, and I've called it CU Boulder. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a student registry for CU Boulder, and, each, and it's going to be a linked list, and each one of those items in the linked list, each one of those nodes, is going to be a student, which is what we have over here. And so we're reading in this file, and the only thing new about this is we're calling this CU Boulder instance of this class, and we're calling a function that's in that class called add student. And we're passing in first name, last name, age, and date of birth. And then the only other thing that we're doing in main that's, that we haven't seen before is we're also using a class, I'm sorry, we're also using a, a function from CU Boulder, uh, this class, and uh, that's print registry. And we'll see what these add student and print registry do in a second. I just want to start here. So now looking over to this .h file, uh, for starters, we've got our struct. So these, this is our node. And I said, and I, I said in our last video that um, nodes would usually be structs. I don't know why I said that. They'll always be structs. So each one of our nodes is going to be a struct. And we've got the same information that we were saving in our previous videos, uh, which is what we're reading in over here. And then the only thing we've added really is that we've got a couple of pointers. And they're of type student, and they're pointing to the previous student and our next student. So uh, each one of our nodes has a pointer to the previous node and to the to the next node, rather, and to the previous node, respectively. And then here below that, we've got our, our uh, default constructor. Um, so we can declare this student struct, you know, without passing in anything. And then we've overloaded it, and all we're doing here... I'll spread this out for a second, but all we're doing is assigning the variables, age, first name, last name. And then we're also, we have the potential to assign what was the first, what was the, the next node and the previous node for this new student struct whenever we declare it. So uh, that's what's going on here. And again, you can see that's just me setting the variables here. So that, nothing too exciting. And then down here, we've got our student registry class. And basically, uh, our student registry class is going to you know, it's going to handle the registry. So each one of the students is going to be a node in our in our linked list. And then the student registry is going to go ahead and create that linked list and print it out and do other fun stuff with it. So uh, that's what the student registry class is doing here. And we've got a couple of public functions. Uh, we've got our default constructor and destructor, which we haven't done anything with. And then we've got these two functions that you saw previously. We have our add student, and then we've got our print registry. And we'll see those in our .cpp. Don't worry about what they do or how they do it. I'll show you that in just a second. And then we've got a couple of private variables. And it's our head and our, our pointer to our head and our, and our tail. And we went ahead and assigned them as null because we don't want them, uh, we want to make sure that they return null if we haven't if we haven't assigned them to anything. There could be something else in this location in memory if we don't go ahead and assign it to null, and I don't want it throwing some weird error or, or working when it shouldn't or doing something weird. So we want to go ahead and assign these to null, but um, we made these private because we don't want anybody to be able to access these because if, if you change where your head and where your tail is at, uh, you can lose your whole linked list if you accidentally point them to the wrong location. For instance, if you created a new student type and you accidentally put head and tail equal to your new student type before you actually added it to your linked list, you would totally lose the rest of your linked list. There would be no way from then on to access those uh, those other students in your linked list because you wouldn't know where to start or where to end at. So um, that's it for our .h file. Let's go ahead and move on to our .cpp file. And uh, let's go ahead and start up here at the top. We've got our default constructor, which we're not doing anything with, our uh, default destructor, which we'll talk about in our next video. And then we've got our add student function. 
And so our add student function, we're passing in our first name, last name, just the information that we read in from this file over here, uh, whenever we call it. And then we're declaring a, 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 a pointer of type student, and we're calling it current student. And it's just our kind of our iterator. It just tells us where we're at in our linked list. And we're gonna go ahead and set it equal to the head, because we wanna always start at the beginning of our, of our list. And then we've got this if else statement. And the, the first part, if our current student equals null, and remember this is gonna happen when our, our list is empty. So this is our first item in our list, so we don't have any students added to our student registry. Then uh, what's gonna happen is that our head is now gonna be uh, equal to a dynamically allocated struct of the, of the student type. And then this is that overloaded constructor that we're calling here. And remember the, the first thing was a pointer to the next student, which we doesn't exist, and a pointer to the previous student, which also doesn't exist. And then we're just passing in first name, last name, so we can set those variables, etc. And then we're also gonna go ahead and assign our tail to equal our head. So now head and tail are both pointing to the same location, which is the only item in our linked list, which is what we wanna do. Now, let's say we've gone ahead and let's just say we've read in the first student and we've read in the second student. So we'll pretend like we're on mic here. Now, uh, it's gonna call this add student function. It's gonna go ahead and start our, our iterator here at the very beginning of our list. And then uh, it's not equal to null, so it's gonna go ahead and skip down to the else statement here. And now what we're doing is we're, we're creating a, we're dynamically allocating memory and creating a, um, and creating a struct of this student type, and we're calling them, we're calling it new student, and then we're just passing in the, in the information, calling that overloaded constructor, just like we did up here with our head. So we've created now this struct, but this struct isn't attached to anything; it's just floating out in space. And so what we're going to do, we want to add it to the end of our list. And remember, we've already added uh, Jonathan and Sarah to our list. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our current student pointer here. And we're gonna use that as our iterator. So while current student next does not equal null, which would be the case if we were already at the end of our list. Um, so we're at Jonathan to start off with, right? So current student next would be Sarah, and that, so that's not null. So while that's not true, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep going th through this while loop and our current student is gonna equal current student next. So all we're doing is moving current student one down the list. And eventually, well, and, and really quickly, really, we're gonna we're gonna move it to Sarah, and then current student is equal to Sarah, and so Sarah's next is going to be null, okay, because she's gonna be the last student. And so we're gonna exit this while loop, and now what we want to do is we want to add our new student that we created right here uh, to the end of our list. So we're gonna say, okay, current student, which is Sarah, uh, next. So what she's pointing to, her pointer, is now gonna to point to our new student. So we're adding our new student onto the end of our list. And then we remember when we initialized this new student, uh, the previous thing was null. And so now we wanna set our new student, the previous node is going to be Sarah, which we have as our current student right now. And then the last thing we wanna do before we exit here is we wanna move our tail anytime we added an item. So now our tail is going to equal our new student. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it. That's how you can add items to uh, a linked list. So now we've, we've finished this and hopefully all this stuff has been added. Let's go ahead and look at this print registry real quick. So that'll be quick. So our print registry here, we've created this current student pointer, right? Just to help us iterate through our linked list because we want to print out our registry. And while our current student does not equal null, and remember, this would be the case when we were at our tail. I'm sorry, after we actually gone past our tail because our current, our, our tail next is always equal to null. And so uh, eventually current student is gonna be, we're gonna be moving down here from current student to current student next, and it'll eventually equal to null once it gets to the tail. And so then it's gonna exit this while loop. And then well, all we're doing here is we're printing out our current student, which is a pointer, so we use this error operator, and we're just printing out the first name. We could access other members of current student, but that's all we're doing right now. So let's go ahead and move back over to main, and let's just go ahead and print this out, and or build and run this, and see if it see if it works. And yeah, it looks like our print registry is working, uh, and you know we added all of our students. So um, 
looks like looks like it's working so that's it for this video and uh, I'm sorry I kind of ran through that uh, leave me a comment below if it was too fast or if it wasn't clear about anything and I'll, I'll try to fix it but um, if not we'll uh, see you in the next video